Hey, you guys. Um, we have a jam behind us here. And this is my friend, um, Alice Baron, and we are actually co-authoring a book together. So have we had fun writing this book? Oh, yes. Or what? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been, been a trip. Yeah, it, it, and, and, and we love to learn, and then we love to spit it out and teach other people. So we are kind of the same person in different bodies, mm -hmm. which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But there's one big thing about us that's really different. Alice is really in shape, and I am really not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I came up to her gym today so that she could teach me just some really easy exercises and what I want and what I wanted to show you is things that you can do in your own home that um, you don't they're non weight bearing is that that's right that, yep. so no explain equipment. this to us a little bit yeah well you know when you think of getting a workout and a strength training kind of workout you want to go to the gym and lift weights and push you know big heavy things around I put together a workout for Kathy that did not have any of that because I felt like, you know, you want to be easy. You don't want to have any barriers at all. You just want to whip it out and keep it simple. So mm -hmm. that's what we created today. Mm -hmm. Just a body weight workout. Right. Now, I didn't introduce my friend as well as I really should have. Can you tell us about a little bit about how smart you are? Um, <laughs> she's got lots of letters behind her name. So this is really cool. So what is, and, and then you can tell them what you're doing right now, too. Well, my name is Alice Baron. I um, am a personal trainer, as you can tell. I'm an exercise physiologist, but I'm also working on my doctorate um, degree, and I'll be done this year. Yay! Yay! I'm telling anyway. you what. <laughs> so proud of her. Uh, I work in healthcare right now for Cigna Healthcare, so I'm, I'm a little bit busy um, doing all of those things, but really my passion is to help people, in particular individuals, corporations too, um, how to improve health and I do that in many ways with the individual. I work with them one on one and just trying to inspire people to get healthy and well mm -hmm. through healthy eating and physical activity. Absolutely. Physical and she wrote a book. I'm going to put a picture of this up. It's called um, Four Weeks to Fabulous. I almost said Four Ways to Fabulous. Sorry. <laughs> Four Weeks, Weeks to Fabulous. But many she, ways. <laughs> yes. So she takes you through a, a nutrition plan yep. and a workout. So and if you're interested in that book, we'll have information mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. information about that at the end yeah and it's 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 fabulous four weeks of fabulous, fabulous. Get it? <laughs> i you know so so we have been talking a lot about nutrition we've been talking a lot about using your essential oils by the way alice is also an oiler um and so uh it, you know these are these are things that we like gradually work into and i know that you kind of gradually worked into those oil things yeah. too so that's my passion that's what i love to do her passion is this exercise stuff and so um if I go out, because I used to be an athlete, you guys, and so this kind of really bothers me that I have gotten to this point in my life where I feel soft. And we've talked about that word like soft a lot. I feel a little pudgy. <laughs> um, and, and you know, I, I when I say that, it's interesting because people would look at me and go, oh, sure, like you have to work out. Oh, sure. But it's true because even though, and we've talked about this even in our book, just because we're thin or in comparison to maybe other people, it doesn't necessarily mean we're healthy. That's right. So tell us yes. a little bit about what you believe in that. About no, that. I totally agree. I think there are times where we look at the outside and that's how we judge people. I think that's our society too. And in reality, um, only you know how you feel. Yes. You know, day to day when you wake up in the morning, how you know, how much energy you have, how you're sleeping at night, all of these things add up to overall wellness. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about overall wellness, physical activity and nutrition are huge. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things that we can do to be well, but physical activity should not be neglected. And if you feel right now, like you are not in the best shape of your life, you feel like you are maybe a little weak. Um, if you wanted to do something like hike a mountain that you typically like to do and you feel like you don't have enough energy to do or don't have the strength to do, that's me. Yep. or if you feel like you can't even um, do a push up, I mean, that's a good sign to me that you need to start thinking about taking better care of your physical being. And by that, I mean, your body loves to move. And, and we're not talking just exercise, right? We're talking right. about overall movement. Mm -hmm. Joints like to move and full ranges of motion um, muscles like to be built and it needs a little stress to do that. And some people think, oh, I have to work out. Mm -hmm. It's painful. Uh, it hurts. I was just going to mention that. And um, yeah, <laughs> and you know, maybe a little bit. Um, personally, I think you get used to it and you like it. It mm -hmm. feels good because you're using your body for what it's intended to do. 
Um, to be honest, we weren't intended to sit all day. Right. Even though I have a desk job, a mm-hmm. lot of the stuff I do is writing, especially now going to school. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's very hard on a body not to move. So we need to make an intentional effort to move. So just that, that being said, we need to get out there and, and make this effort. And this is what Kathy's trying to do today is mm-hmm. trying to get you guys out mm-hmm. um, and in an easy way, get you back in shape. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, talking about that word pain. So some of my barriers to exercise and we, and first of all, you guys, we have to figure out what's stopping us from doing what we know is good for us, mm-hmm. whether it's eating um, whether it's thinking correctly, whether it's even the fact that if, if, if we're in a relationship we're, we're not supposed to be, whatever it is, we have to realize what it is that's going to get us into wholeness, right? And do what's right. And so for me, um, and when I exercise and because I have been fit in the past and I've been an exercise or, you know, an, an athlete, I want to go right in there and I want to jump in and do everything. And then the next day I can't move. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm an all or nothing kind of person. So I have to retrain my mind to know that I'm not as young as I used to be. Mm -hmm. And that there's certain things like Alice, Alice pushed me beyond my comfort zone today, but she didn't kill me. Right. Right. Well, sir. Well, I think that's, (laughs) that's a good point. When um, people start back in the exercise routine or they start New Year's resolutions, I'm going to get fit this year. Mm -hmm. Um, It's January 1 and they go all out. And then two months later, the gym's back to empty. Um, People are back to where they were. And and so what I'm trying to do here with Mm -hmm. Kathy Mm -hmm. is get her to see that movement actually feels good. It doesn't have to hurt. But I want to call it movement, not exercise. Yes, yeah, exercise is like that. No, it's scary. Yeah, yeah, but I want to move. So yeah. I just put her through a movement routine today. We're going to share that routine with you. Yeah. Um, and just enough to get you off the couch and get right. active again. And then this is a step-by-step mm-hmm. process. This isn't overnight. Mm-hmm. What we're trying to do really is just get you um, next to the next step. Mm-hmm. And once you're there, you're going to feel better. And then you're saying, you know, I think I want to do some more and yeah. then just continue that progress. And mm-hmm. it isn't about pain, no pain, no gain. It's about feeling good and moving, but maybe pushing yourself a little bit because to be honest, if you don't, you're probably not going to get the benefit. That's mm-hmm. the kind of nice thing about personal trainers. Mm-hmm. You know, we kind of push you a little bit a beyond little your bit. comfort zone. It's like, no, nah, you got right. five more. Right. I know you yeah. do. I was like, like, no. I know. I thought we were done. But, <laughs> I did that more than once today. I didn't tell her though. No. Oh, she would never do that. She's tough. So, and you are too. So if you're in that position where you feel like you really want to get back into it, know that it doesn't take a lot to start, but just start. Okay. Just start. So here's the deal. Alice has put together a really nice 15 minute plan for us. And I'm going to be putting that in the comments. And also what we're going to be doing, so you know how to do the exercises correctly. I'm going to be taking real short little video snippets of the girl who knows how to do it really well um, so that she can show you the form and what you're supposed to be doing that. So throughout the day, I'll be putting short snippet videos up there so you know how to exercise. Keep up with uh, the nutrition. Keep up with your lifelong vitality. Here's where your deep blue, your deep blue polyphenols, your turmeric, um, maybe coming in and helping out with those areas of soreness. And it's a good soreness. I, I don't like going up and down my stairs where it hurts. It's not a good soreness. A good soreness is where I might feel a muscle burn. That's right. Okay. Yep, okay. exactly. So, And remember, your nutrition is going to help you recover. Yeah. Sleep is going to help you recover. So when you start this routine... Um, think about fueling your body for the mm-hmm, routine. Think mm-hmm. about the sleep and recovery water. and water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely water. So mm-hmm. all of these things kind of come together. You're basically just taking really good care of yourself right now. Don't think that right. this is like, I'm going to go out and exercise first of the year. Instead, I'm just going to take really good care of myself and start moving my body like it should be moved. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Okay, you guys, we got some more fun stuff coming up for you today. Thank you, Alice Baran. You are my buddy. You're my pal. And I'm super excited. Thank you so much for being with us today. You guys take care.